This is a completely new ceremony to me. I thought that I did know sufficiently about laying a foundation stone, not to be taken aback by anything that I was asked to do. But I've been asked to say, as I do now, that I lay this stone which has been truly made, not laid. <laughs> <laughs> I declare this stone well and truly made. <laughs> you have asked me, sir, whether I will open your new wonderful bath by making the first dive. No. <laughs> Unless I'm pushed in. <laughs> When the Empire Swimming Pool and Cupboard Sports Arena operating alongside the world-famous Empire Stadium is completed by next summer, Britain will have the most up-to-date and comprehensive sports centre in the world. Next August, we shall be staging in this building the aquatic uh, boxing and wrestling events of the British Empire Games. Throughout the summer, uh, important uh, swimming, water polo and diving contests will be held from time to time. In the winter, uh, it will be turned into a huge ice skating rink where winter sports of all kinds can be enjoyed without uh, you spending your money abroad. My task has been to design and construct the most up-to-date and largest sports arena in the world. The result is naturally unique both in construction and magnitude. In magnitude I can perhaps best describe it to you by comparing it with the largest roof in, at present in Great Britain, namely St Pancras Station. The roof of this building will be even larger than that. And under the roof could be housed quite comfortably any one of the highest of London's modern buildings. The materials of construction are three, concrete, steel and glass. But these require also, of course, the labour of a thousand men working in all parts of the country day and night to achieve what will be a world's record of building this great construction by July next. 